Hello and welcome to Roguelike Dolls. This is Molly. We're playing The Binding of Isaac Repentance. In our last episode, we got the true ending with Maggie. And that was our first true ending win. So I think we're going to move right along trying to unlock additional tainted characters of whom we now have two, Bethany and Maggie. Um, I am excited to play the tainted characters, but I want to keep on unlocking them as well. Uh, and, you know, getting true ending, getting all path. We have lots of, um, lots of post-its to unlock, so not a big deal. Um, DJ7C624T. We are going to start off, uh, this Sunday morning with a cane run and a very adventurous immediate death um that's fine uh v q m z y g z t all right um starting off with a cane run and a much less adventurous go into the cursed room um like you know that was uh a very potentially dangerous situation, but, uh, it, and it obviously didn't pay out, so that's okay. It's Sunday, and it was a warm-up round. You might not have known, because I didn't tell you that it was a warm-up round, but it, in fact, was. Why am I getting two of everything? Oh, wealth from below? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, a second luck. We're we are um we are in the money. So sorry donation machine. We got we got business to do. This is Sunday. We are going to get a sack head cuz that will pretty much ensure that we have uh stuff for the rest of the run. Um I would love spider mod. So I'm going to get it. Wow, the machine can pay out with sacks? That's incredible. We'll give back to our donation machine another time. But we gotta have spider mod, right? Incredible start to a run. The freeze effect is pretty dang good. And spider mod is a crowd favorite. Um... When I ask the people what they love, they're like, give me that motherfucking spider mod. That's what we love. And I'm like, who am I to deny the people? And then I wash my hands of my uh, decision that I must make as governor, like Pontius Pilate, and uh, give people spider mod. In this analogy, the donation machine is Jesus. And I am uh, crucifying them. Um, Sunday morning, how are we feeling? We're feeling okay. We've been, as you know, as because I mention it in like every episode, we've been very depressed. And by we, I mean I. Um, but probably a lot of you too, I imagine. Um, if you're, uh, no offense to you, but if you're like me, you're, um, you might be watching long form Isaac content on YouTube because you're depressed. Um, <laughs> Believe it or not, we took too much damage in that last room, but it's fine. We'll live. We're for sure going to walk on the alternative path for a little bit to get more power, but we're not going to necessarily complete the alt path and fight the boss. We're just there to get double items. The mom's contact is doing good stuff for us. I don't mean to insinuate everyone who watches my channel or long form Isaac content is depressed. I just know from experience that is definitely, um, you know, oh, I would not watch as much long form Isaac content, I think, if I was not uh, severely depressed. Um, <laughs> I don't think I would make as much long form Isaac content if I wasn't so depressed. Uh, 
to be completely fair. Uh, okay. Well, we need to leave a trinket behind anyways, so let's get one of these moving. And Serpent's Kiss is for sure better than a blind item. What do we got in our store? This is fun, but we... Well, we'll probably have a lot of money, so... I don't think I want to blow up my donation machine yet again in this run, but... If we must, we must. We didn't lose our devil deal yet, but I don't think we have soul hearts anymore. And I'm, I usually like Endless and Nameless more than um, the lockpick. And I, just, I don't anticipate us having a key problem with uh, Sackhead and uh, Wealth From Below. We should be totally set on keys forever. All right, what are we, what are we doing here? All right, very good. All of our pills are guaranteed to be good. Frick. We lost our devil deal. That's okay. Well, just don't die. We can still get it. It's a one. Fuck. Don't die. Kill him. How did you not take very much damage from that? Ow. We might be close to death, which would be unfortunate because I want to live. Because we took so much out of our donation machine, it feels like a big waste to die. Right? All right, let's go get some more HP and then continue on our way. Oh, geez. All right, that's okay. I don't think we'll die if we go in here. Okay. Well, it's true that we didn't die. It just cost us an HP, and I think our health is kind of low, but, you know, we, it's, it's conceivable that we live. Where are we at? One and a half health. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Pretty doable. Oh, jeez. These guys are throwing pots at us. Got one. We'll just play it safe. Don't get pegged by these guys. All right. We're okay. There's the mirror. So if we want to get the knife piece, we do for sure have to do at least one big room. We have to do this room, which isn't bad, but it is enemies. I don't think they're that dangerous. Yeah, this room's not bad. I'm not afraid of this room. Um, we might have to, we're for sure going to have to do two big rooms, though, which is somewhat scary. Because both the boss and the, um, this isn't a bad big room, though. In the, in the grand scheme of large rooms, happy to do this one. Um, yeah, so I tried again at filming Grim Dawn, and I didn't like it, and I think my problem is I... I was trying to film on hardcore mode, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized I don't really like playing hardcore mode, you know, with like permadeath in, um, normally I'm big, I'm real into little chub, but we're going to go, uh, for the blind item. And I think the choice was correct. Static tears way better than little chub, typically. If we got, like, piercing or something, we would really be in the money. But as it stands, I think we're we're in a good spot. I thought that was going to be the secret room. I was wrong. 
I would still like to do the cursed room as well. And I, I think the decision of whether or not to do the boss in the mirror dimension really depends on which boss it is. Huh. I think we do need additional bombs to continue the alt path after this floor, but we might get off the alt path after this floor anyways. So not not too worried about it. I don't think this is an alt path run. It's pretty good. We have a lot of good stuff. We're just like taking a lot of damage. And this guy makes me a little nervous. Oh jeez, come on, buddy. I do like that he's getting frozen. Youch, saw that one coming. Now he's gonna do his disappearing stage, probably. Which is fine. Just keep her moving. Ouch. Don't die. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, no devil deal. But we got an HP up. And we'll just go down to the next floor. The regular floor. No need to do the alt path stuff. Give me something. All right, we'll talk later. He'll pay out, don't worry. I, I still have a lot of faith in this run. I think we could definitely end up with a beast kill. We do have really good items. I was just, um, we didn't have the bombs to continue and I didn't want to fight that boss in the mirror dimension because I thought I would die. So, no regrets. A damage up could be super though. I think it would greatly increase our chances of winning. Or, you know, not a, a damage up or like another tier effect to really drive home the tier situation could be good. Youch. You know, let's get some black soul hearts, maybe. All right. That was close. Strength, strength. All right. We'll take a strength. We did lose our devil deal again, but that's fine. You know what, I'll use one strength in here. Not that it's a hard room, it's just... Otherwise, we're just gonna leave that strength on the floor, so why not? Plus, there's a chance that our, uh... Um... What's the word for it? Our trinket pays out with an extra strength card because sometimes our consumables don't get used when we use them so why not um yeah we're just oh we made a lot of money huh um yeah we're just trying to find our item room we're trying to beat the boss without taking that much damage this is still a good run and even if we don't on even if we don't kill the the true ending boss, we'll probably still unlock Tainted Cane. I'll allow it. Alright. The safe spot for this room is typically in the middle. That champion was a little bit fast, so he almost disrupted. The pattern cancer is much better than that trinket in my opinion cancer is a big tears up we love to see it 
Maggie's heart or Maggie's faith gives you one eternal heart when you go down to the next floor. So not a bad trinket either, but Cancer is like one of the best. Keep our strength card. Hi, Stanley. What's up, buddy? We got a lot of money. All these trinket placements are really annoying because I have to keep on picking them up. We have a lot of money. The only, like, if we could pick any item to have, it would just be anything with uh, piercing tears would pretty much give us the run right away. All right, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep that on our mind. Did we not find our item room? Yeah, we didn't. And it's down off of that one big room. Okay. Might as well fight the boss. Use this. Get a little bit more damage going. Be mindful of the creep. All right, and dead. And we still didn't get our devil deal, that's fine. Who needs it? To be honest. Wheel of Fortune, justice. we'll use Justice. Wheel of Fortune, we'll use, all right. Hit that once, we'll use two of clubs right away. We'll take Ace of Clubs with us, and we'll go find our store and our item room. Uh, and why not? Sure. Ow. Alright, that was kind of expensive, but we'll live, probably. A range up is nice. Kane's base range is not that great. Ouch. Thank you. Thank you. We now have max speed, which some people don't like, and that's fine. We'll take that. Um, and we'll donate. I know we have a arcade, but I don't think we really want to play it that much. Now we have an item room over here, probably. Yep. Yeah, I, um, I've been trying to film Grim Dawn, and I think my problem is I was playing it on hardcore mode, but really, you know, I like the idea of hardcore mode, but I don't want to do it solo. That seems like kind of punishing to have to like grind out a character and then potentially lose it. I like the idea of doing it with friends because it's more like it's you know it's it's kind of akin to a tabletop ro role playing game, you know, where at least most people who have ever heard about playing D&D &D do have permadeath for their characters. Okay, let's go a little bit hard on this. Because we do get a lot of spiders for it. That was kind of the ideal outcome, I suppose. Um, no real need to play this guy. But if we could get a crystal ball from this, maybe that would make everything okay. A couple of soul hearts is not bad either. All right, what do we got? Excellent, a high priestess is okay, but we'll take ace of clubs because of its amazing ability to kill everyone. And we won't get back on the out path. We'll just keep on heading down. Depths one, sure. These uh, huge amount of spiders is temporarily making us feel like we have great damage. So look at us go. 
We really don't have anything to complain about in terms of keys, though. For sure. Really, uh, health for that matter, either. We're doing real good on. Two keys for probably some keys. Frick. Um, a cracked key? All right. We'll save this cracked key for a minute. Well, it won't use it right away. Well, I guess we'll use it here. Nope. Um, so the the rules for the super secret or the super super secret room, as I understand them, is that it will spawn diagonal to the floor off of a special room. That could be wrong, but that's what I was led to believe. But I also think that means that you have a lot of potential spots where it could spawn. So you won't always be right about it. Die. Thank you. We don't have to keep an eye out for the tinted rock on this floor. It will be on the next floor. Youch. That's fair. That was less fair. I feel like that one shouldn't have got me. I'm better than that. This is so sad. We will use some bombs to get at some chests. Just because we have a ridiculous amount of bombs. Hopefully the store is good. I would accept a champion belt or some other item. Speed up. So my new plan for Grim Dawn, just getting back to that um, train of thought, uh, is to uh, Play on the regular mode, and what I think I might do is just start playing through with different combinations of classes and maybe only taking them up to, like, normal, like, end of normal mode with them, and we'll, we'll see how we feel about any of them. Uh, for seven cents, for sure, and there's really no argument for not jamming our donation machine here. Like, we do want to get... It would have been nice to be able to get something better out of the store, but we need... Um... We do need to build up our donation machine a little bit, and it's hard to, you know, argue that that isn't a pretty appropriate time to do it. Uh, that is not a good, um, chest. We don't want to run into that. High Priestess is really useful, but we'll continue wandering around with Ace of Clubs. BFF is real nice. Um, that will increase the power, theoretically, of our, um, it increases our fly and our spider. So... Love to see it. Oh, uh, come on. I don't think Ace of Clubs will work on these guys, unfortunately. I would love to Ace of Clubs them. They are very hazardous. Oh, jeez. Can't believe I haven't gotten hit yet. I get that that's jinxing myself, but isn't that incredible? I'm impressed. All right, no hit. Incredible. Many are impressed. Miter is good. It will increase the number of soul hearts we find around. 
which I think is useful because I am planning on getting hit, believe it or not, on this run. Uh, maybe, hopefully not quite often, but I am, I am planning on it. Uh, if you do want to play Grim Dawn with me and you, like, own the game and you think that would be fun, I do like playing Grim Dawn with other people, so you should, uh, one, if you don't own the game, you should consider owning the game because it's quite good, but also you should consider playing with me because I like it and can never find people to play with. All right, keep her going. We could use some bombs. Youch. He's so smart. He moves away from the bombs, I think. And also, most of the time, it feels like the bombs are kind of at max range, unless he's, like, right in front of them. Youch. Youch. We lost our devil deal again. This is so sad. All right, we finally got a devil deal. And let's look at it. All right, it sucks. Um, But we'll take it. Give me this. Our item room was the miter. All right, we have no real reason to be here. Let's go down. We need to find our fool card. I was hoping we could use two of clubs in here, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be a good room for that. Ouch. What are you? Wheel of Fortune? Give us a crystal ball. Close. And acceptable. Oh, jeez. Our Ace of Clubs is not helping us at all. All right. Very good payout. Um, it's enough of that for now. Uh, this might be... No. Just keeping an eye out for a special skull. And I don't think any of those are it. I wish we didn't have Curse of the Blind. Or Curse of the Darkness. It will make searching for this skull less easy. Ow. Thank you. Keep on taking our speed up pills. Uh, didn't work on Big Larry. I was hoping it would. But, oh well. Not the end of the world. We'll trade a key for a sack. Why not? Ouch. The first uh, build I want to do with Grim Dawn is Reaper, which is a combination of Necromancer and Nightblade. And I like it because it's not, I feel like it's not quite an obvious synergy. Like there's some classes that are just, they obviously have a lot going on together, but I feel like it's a little bit more difficult to put together a coherent build with a Nightblade. Um, yeah, give me this. Uh, pay to win doesn't do much for us at this point. So let's continue donating. 
Perfect. Who would have thought that our donation machine would uh, take such a wild swing within this episode? Don't want to go into the mom room yet because we don't have a fool card. We need to find the fool card before doing that, for sure. Are either of these the skull? No. Okay. I would take another familiar from the item room. I think that could be nice. I would also take any sort of damage up. This would be a great time to give me like a polythemus or some other dramatic damage up I would accept. Ow, fair. All right, that was that wasn't good dodging. Um, I've been watching a show that is uh, it's on Netflix. It's called World's Most Extraordinary Homes. I guess I want this one more. Devil card is nice. It's no fool card, but I will use it now because I don't anticipate really having a better opportunity for it. Ha, perfect. You said it could never happen. Uh, Thunder Thighs is sort of ideal. Alright, Emperor card is nice, and it doesn't do anything for us because we'll never need it. In the meantime, this will really speed up our Rock Smashing and Skull Smashing. So we should find the, uh, the Fool card or some other teleportation card uh, in no time. All right, we got a fool card. Might as well still smash some stuff. Empress. All right. We can get into our... Um, boss trap room for free if we want. Tears up is nice. I'm tempted to use the fool card because I don't think it's the only fool card, but we'll just fight. Ow. Got him. This guy, not nearly as big of a doof as um, the last guy. I'm not as worried about him. throw out some bombs. He does have a lot of HP and we still are riding on base damage. I'm really hoping we get a devil deal. It's sort of unlikely, but it could happen. Youch. Probably shouldn't have gone this way, but that's life, baby. I did want to look at some other skulls if we could find them just because it's useful and they give us nice stuff. This is our actual like tinted skull. So that was a fool card on the ground. Blank rune. All right. Let's go to the boss. Yeah, there's nothing here for us. We we are way into black soul hearts, though, if we can get them. And we will also donate our remaining nine cents. 
All right. Good work. So we have great luck and just not a lot else going for us. Really. Didn't quite get him. Let's see if that will get him. Ooh. Um, this paid off. Die, please. Ow. Fair. All right. Doesn't matter which one of these we take. Give this guy three cents. All right. And then we're out of here, I think. We have one more item room and one more store. Youch. Ow. Ow. Oh, uh, why not? I think this is two or three for Guppy. We lose two max health, but um, if we can make it to the beast fight, the, um, the nine lives do not take you out of the fight you're currently in. So, like, you can die multiple times on the beast fight, and it's pretty cool. Still, still praying for uh, piercing tears. Ow. Apparently you left creep on the ground. Oh, you leave creep where you jump. You're much more hazardous than I initially thought. How terrible. Got a tears up. So we have really great tears rate and base damage. Which maybe isn't the best spot in the world to be, but there are worse spots in the world to be. We might not beat the beast, though. It will take a long time for that to work. Just keep on shooting. I guess we could just immediately walk onto the button. I forgot that we had a uh, stompy tears. All right, um, item room and stuff is this way. Probably worth looking in here. In case we get a like an early devil deal or something. Chariots better than the lovers card. I hope we don't die on this floor. That would be bad. So I would really like to um, unlock tainted cane. If we get nothing else done on this run. Just wanted to stop taking damage in this room. Perfect. If we got um, something like Unicorn Horn again, that could be kind of sick. So it would give us something to do with our Serpent Kiss. Like, something more to do with our Serpent Kiss. Alright. Very dangerous enemies. Don't like them. Now they're going to start brimstoning around the room. Should be pretty easy to dodge, though. Ow. Never mind. Impossible to dodge. Difficult game, for sure. Uh, 
Uh, is this? No. I forget if that's the one that just gives you money for, like, being around, uh, like, smashing rocks, but maybe it is. I always forget which one is the smashing rocks one and which one is the, uh, it tells you which rocks are, like, secret. Getting good payouts. We have 51 keys, which is wild to me. Um, I will take tractor beam tears. It is a sizable tears up and a decent range up, so. And I guess I'll take this. Nothing else to really talk about in that room. Um, and I also don't think there's a lot of reason to spend time in unexplored rooms in this map. So let us head towards the boss. We'll fight the mini boss, but not the um, not any other rooms that we can avoid. What are you lovers? Sorry. Right. If Lust could give us the virus, we'd be happy about that. I think we have two different something's wrongs pills in our pill pool. Uh, extremely fortunate warp. And there's no like boss for this floor. You just have to pick up this just get over it we we could be in a better like health situation we got hit like six times in this room that's awful but i i still am relatively confident we'll make it to the boss we might not win Thank you. Um, no, thank you. Sun is kind of cool. What else do we got? High Priestess is okay. Lovers. Let's go with the sun. And we'll just use the sun right away. And then we'll take High Priestess. I don't really know where the starting room is. Maybe it's this way. And I don't think we left a trinket on this floor. I think we left a trinket on like our first or second floor. I'll take a power pill. Ow. Wouldn't mind some not dying juice. Thank you. I will play a key bagger. This could save our life. I'm going to play until the number of gold chests equals the number of keys or until he pays out, I guess. In either case, godsend. Um, I'm going to play this too. Why not? Where are we now? Caves too. We should probably check our secret room. Or not our secret room, our item room. Because I'm not exactly sure where our... Um... Where our cracked key is. But we need that to unlock Tainted Cane. Range up. Something's wrong. Power pill. Let's stick with our power pill. But keep playing this guy. Thank you. 
A dollar would make me more confident in this fight. You are correct. Uh, uh, I would love these energies, so I'm going to try to get them. All right. That'll make us a little bit safer. Uh, these highly numerous enemies should allow us to get another proc on these guys. Well, uh, every seven enemies we kill, we gain um, an energy. Thank you. Maybe a huge damage up. Maybe a useless uh, activatable item. Either way, I'm not picky. Uh, magic mush. Close. All right. We're doing great. <laughs> Ow. Thank you. All right. Cracked key. Love to see it. This floor might be a pain in the butt to get through. I remember there being a lot of it. Keep taking speed ups. A speed up every few minutes keeps the doctor away. It's the old saying. Tears up pills are still giving us large effect, which I think is cool of them. We have our cracked key, so we don't need to worry about too much else now in terms of like remembering things that happened on our floors. So that's good. I give ourselves a like, I don't know, maybe like a two out of five chance for beating the beast. It could happen. Our damage is just really low, you know? But, you know, beating the beast on base damage would be pretty radical. Don't especially need... Um, keys or bombs or anything. Ow. Didn't expect that. Should be basement one now. Not much to go. Tinted Rock. The vibes are really different when the music change. Like when it's in fast mode, the uh, parent fights really uh, hit different. The worst enemy in the game, I think, is this guy. We'll see if we can keep him frozen indefinitely. The containment system failed. Head to the air pods. Airpods, airlocks, escape pods? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, Fruity Plum or whatever his name is, doing great work. 10 out of 10 companion. Um, easily saving our life effortlessly. Ow. Um, most of that was our own fault. All right, now we're in a great position. We went from very doubtful to maybe a three out of five. Very average. Um, I would say it's kind of on us to lose. But... 
but we can at least feel extremely good that we're gonna unlock Tainted Cane. Thank you. What are you? Damage up? <laughs> oh, baby. Why not? World card? All right. A luck up? You know, if we had enough luck, maybe we could, like, permanently, you know, finagle the boss into never hitting us. Tainted cane. We actually have to stay for the unlock message or it doesn't count. Give us one singular pill. That was a really decent pill, to be honest. Can't complain about it too much. So we effectively have like 15 health. So I'm not saying that it's like completely our fault if we can't win this, but I am saying that we do have a lot of health for sure. Ouch. And that damage up is uh, incredibly helpful, right? Stage one down, we didn't get hit that much, so I'm counting that as a big win. Ow, I didn't see that one because it overlapped with our tier line. Frozen? That frozenness is really helping us quite a bit. Alright, get frozen again soon, please. Alright, that was different from being frozen, but it was a strategy for sure. Alright. Gonna take a sip of my coffee. Big sip of my coffee. Um, you know, despite our pretty decent health and damage and blah 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 going into this fight i was a lot more confident on the previous run where we had a uh, cursed eye this uh just the damage on this run is the only thing that makes us worried but i, I might be underselling this run a little bit I bought um, the game Into the Breach because it was on sale on Steam, um, and I'm really excited to play that. I think that will be a lot of fun. I really enjoyed FTL. Uh, not that it's like a new game or anything, FTL is just sort of your classic spacefaring roguelike. Um, but Into the Breach is a mech pilot strategy game with some weird time travel elements, and um, I just never got around to playing it. Like, I didn't play it when it came out, and then I just never bothered after that. So, super excited to get a chance to play it now. Maybe I'll put that up on the channel. That could be fun. I don't know. I always, whenever I play video games, I'm just like, well, I should be recording, right? Because why not? So far, not too bad. What are you? Algis? That's immense. We're probably going to save that for death. 
bombs away. Oh, did you know your bombs, when you drop them above your enemy, they explode when they touch them in this boss fight? I know I'm taking a lot of damage to demonstrate it, but I think it's really sick. Get frozen. Mom's contact with six luck is okay. I'll say. We took two damage on that guy. That would not be my first choice. Do you notice how death touches his face like he's humiliated by his um, brothers for not having defeated you? All right, we're just gonna all jizz because I'm sick of taking damage. All right, we got the skull wave now. Just gotta dodge through the skulls. Sick. We didn't have to do his uh, scythe wave. Judgment. Give us a health up. Soon. We'll talk later. All right. Thank you. Please stop beating him. If I drop a bomb, will that bomb him? Whoa. I accidentally bombed my uh, buddy. That's okay. Ow. Fair. We have seven more health. I think he's taking good damage. Oh, yeah. We can see his damage. He's, he's taking reasonable damage. Ow. Six more health. Keep bombing. We're out of bombs. That's fine. Almost dead. Almost dead. Second, uh, second victory on the true ending. Sick. Love to see it. Unlock Kane. Got the true ending win. Great Sunday morning. Cracked open. Um, and with that, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you soon for some other content, perhaps. Um, I love you. Goodbye. We unlocked Pound of Flesh.